Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the world of Risk Global Domination. I'm Kilted. I'm a competitive player in the old Risk Online. Today, we are Casper the Toast as we hop into another episode of my Sunday Snipes series. On Sundays, we go into somebody else's random ranked lobby, play on their map, their settings, try to beat them on their home turf. Today, we're playing on the black player's settings, Blackbeard's Wrath. Oh, baby. Now that is a honeypot hot pocket, baby. I have a plus two. I can, this is capitals. It's fixed capitals. I can cap here, but, uh, oh man, that purple, if purple caps here, I'm in some trouble. Uh, I mean, if he caps there, I'm rolling them, right? Oh, big daddy time. We are playing Blackbeard's Wrath. I don't know if you've ever seen this map before. I don't think I've played it ever on YouTube. Uh, I have played it once or twice, but very rarely, maybe once or twice in the entire two and a half years that I've been playing Risk. Uh, we are playing fixed capitals. True random capitals. No alliances, no portals, fog and blizzards are on. This entire map is split in half by red cliffs. This one territory or Williams Cove. Willem's Cove. Right? There's no... Oh, wait. It is now because of this blizzard. Right, so there's two entrances to the left and right side of the board, and now there's only one because of that. So purple may cap. He didn't cap here. Oh, baby. He saw that I was going to roll his ass. <laughs> Damn right. Who <laughs> rhinoceroses never play around. They charge your ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How many people are going to get that reference? That reference is from, like, <laughs> 20 years ago. Back in the old internet. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Put on my robe and wizard hat. Let's go, and we'll play this game. So we're the blue player. We're in the first position, playing fixed, true random capitals. So uh, turn order doesn't matter so much as far as getting cards go. And I'm going to get this plus two bonus locked down behind my cap immediately, provided I win a seven on two. Let's not be too hasty and think that I'm going to succeed, because I never know for sure. Oh, baby. Look, hot pocket, honey pot, juice ball. Look at this. Turn one. Turn one. Mmm. Thumbnail. Bam. Baby. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thumbnail guy does a way better job than I do. Ah! I hope you guys are ready for a crazy, stupid game that might be long and it might be short. It's long. Anyways, let's get into the game. We don't see very much, but I'm going to try to maintain vision. I might even come off cap and just sit here with a stack. We'll see. I I'm actually going to... I, I see there's nothing down here. I'm going to come up with this five. Can I take this whole right side? If everybody's capped on the left, can I take the whole right side? What are the bonuses? A plus five and a plus three, so and a plus two. So I get plus ten on top of my cap and territories if I single stacked here later in the game. Bro, imagine I got a big trade on three and I found a whoopty and I took this whole right side. Oh, that would be... Like, they can't even ram dangle me through the middle, man. I just boom stack, boom stack, boom stack. Whoever's here on a cab would get terrified and run. Oh, purple's fortifying here with an 11. <clears throat> I don't like that. I don't want you pointing at me, doggy town. Maybe there's a cap in here. There might be Willem's Cove cap. Let's look at these names. Landlubber Lagoon, Thunder Reef, Harpoon K, Rogue's Paradise, Smuggler's Harbor. We got Blackbeard's Wrath. Oh, that's the, that's the name of the map, man. Ghost Bay. Boneyard Bayou, I'm assuming. Dead Man Falls, The Lookout, Mutiny Bay, Siren's Point. All right, all right. Plunder Chasm. Oh, baby. I'm going to plunder that chasm. Dude smokes a four stack, only loses a one. This guy just... Oh, my. Yeah, exactly. He tastes the true random, big boy. All right. So you're obviously just suiciding for La Booze. Eh? Well, you want your booze. I get seven now. Beautiful. Let's make this a slapper stack. Let's do this. And we'll bring this out. Boom. I am so glad I added an extra troop there, or I wouldn't have won the roll. I, I, it was a literal one I hit, dog. Dogleg cave into the shipwreck coast. Do not take this trek. If you guys are ever passing by here, do not take the trek through Dogleg Cave into shipwreck coast. It is expensive on your mans. All right. That fucking sucked, bro. I was really thinking about potentially, like, ram-dingling the whole side pocket, right? Yeah, you taste it. Bro, 
Like, I was scared of rolling, like, the five... I added two troops here, actually. I was scared of rolling a five on one. I would have straight lost the roll. I added two troops, and that barely got me a card there. Jesus. All right, at least we didn't start with double dudes. And also, fun thing to note on these... Oh, wait. Red's cap is Shiloh Bayou. It's on the right side with me. Damn it. So I don't get to steal all these bonuses. I just got to get strong here and see what shenanigans we, we encounter. But uh, one thing to note on these uh, these pirate maps is uh, the cannon, the artillery. Wait, what are you rolling? Okay, I wanted to see what he rolled in case he hits a gap. So, so it is open to go through. So there's no cap closing the map off from left to right. That's actually good for me. If there was, it would have been a little bit annoying. Unless I get it and I can hold half the map. But my feeling is there's only two caps on the right side. So if I can beat out or kill red, I can take the whole right side of the board. And single stack. And then, oh my god. Cut to 30 minutes from now when I own the whole right side of the board, red's cap. And I'm single stacking in red cliffs. And then Willem's Cove with like a 150. 150 stack, Willem's Cove, 30 minutes from now. Go, it's going to happen. And you guys are like, what? There's only 12 minutes left in the video. How much do you not know about what's coming? Whatever. Okay. <clears throat> oh, so the middle is open and this is only the cap, the only cap, I think. <clears throat> like, do I roll these threes out or try to keep vision, right? Do you need to keep my cat big in case red starts looking? Oh, did white hold? No, nobody would help. These guys are just ram dingling like crazy over here. White wants that. White's basically dead. Okay, I couldn't even finish my thought. Here is the story. The artillery, the cannons, are now the cavalry. Right? They're the sixth trait. The ship. The galleon is the eighth trait. Jesus. Louisa. Okay. Can I try a six on one and not taste the rainbow? I want to see what's in the corner. Okay, I see you. There we go. There we go. Okay, I only lost one troop hitting a one stack. And I have a big trade on three. Oh, baby, yes. Oh, I want this one. I, I want to slap her dog this so hard. Imagine he rolls a one and loses six troops. I literally lost... How many troops in the last two rolls? Just, uh, maybe I should start leaving twos all around his... Like, I just put twos everywhere. It's like a minefield around his 17. And one time he loses, like, nine troops on it. And then I just yoink his cap. Oh, that would be disgusting. I think that's a great plan. I get two troops more than red a turn. And I'm going to try to leverage that into taking his cap later. Who is red? How good... Oh, my God. He smoked his three. He wants this bonus, dog. Dude, if he rolls like this, he might actually have a very weak cap soon. Dude, I might add everything to the four and go two, 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 two. Just add twos to the whole bonus. Because it's me versus red, right? So the host of the lobby is call sign Dusty, right? From Antarctica, the old rhino head. And uh, that is our first opponent. We've got the red player, General Powers, 12338 from the United States. That's the player I'm going to try to piss off, eliminate, make bot out, steal his cap, make him lose a bunch of troops in true random. I'm going to try to destroy him. And if I destroy him, I get the entire right side of the board. Unless there's a capital and new rock rack him, right? I haven't seen this spot, but I doubt there's a cap here. It seems like the shenanigans are on the left side of the board. We've also got Willy Deckers from Germany. We got Thomas Hoy from Denmark, I believe. And Main Wang. Main Wang from United States. This guy's from Texas. You can tell he is from Texas. We are loading that in. Main Wang is going to come to the channel later and be like, that was me. I was the white player and I'm from Texas. And I have a big horse. And saddle. Yeah. That's the stuff right there. I mean, I got the honeypot. What else do I need in this game, right? We're just chilling. Make sure everybody's only getting five. Purple's getting six. Dog has a lot of territories. <laughs> Dog. Dude, they're so fighting for this bonus. I should maybe, like, not even care about red and try to win a fight on the left side. And then I can hold it. Right? Like, if I'm on both sides, that's even better. Should I? Should I think about that? I do also have the big trade, right? So let's do this. Take a card there. Yeah, let's do that. And coming up to look. Boom!
white really wants that bonus, but I'm going to back off and let purple through if purple wants to go through. Like, white's probably getting tasted, toasted, right? I'm just... I'm going to assume that he doesn't have the bonus, but he may. But, like, they're fighting. Oh, black's going to trade on three. Call sign Dusty! Red sees this. Red might hit this 10, by the way. If he doesn't get terrible dice, we're in a spot. Also, red goes and then purple, pink, and white go. So if red does lose his stuff or bot and the bot comes off, I don't get first shot at it. But only purple and black are over here, I think. It, depending on new, who's in new rack game, I kind of want to see that, but I don't want to close my cap up right now. Red's going to come up this way. Lose troops. Just If he's rolling extra, that's great. Oh my god, perfect dice. Come on. I want to see him hit this one. No, it hits this one. Okay. So he's going to need a trade to hit that 10 stack. Dude, I would love to hit, 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 and just leave twos everywhere. But I feel like if every extra one I hit, I'm going to lose extra troops. So instead of making it harder for him, it'll make it easier for him. Purple's actually not going up to hit white. So white might actually be holding this. If white holds this, that's unfortunate. Okay, purple's coming here. His cap's over here somewhere. I think it's five. Is there shenanigans happening up here too? Like, is black breaking here? I don't know. Black's cap was up here, right? No? I don't remember. Oh, pink's coming through the middle, and he's like, oh, there's blue's cap. There's red's cap. So pink wasn't here. Red owns a lot of territory. I early traded also, so. Wait. Five, and then a trade. Okay. Is he going to try to... What's he doing? It's going back in. Somebody broke him. He only lost one. Keeps rolling. Do I want to go in and break him? I mean, whatever shenanigans are going on over there. Actually, I don't think I need to because I think everybody else is going to keep breaking him, right? I can not. I can do this without opening Red's cap, or I do open it and I make problems. Like this, and that's a purple one. Okay. I mean, let's be real, that's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. Do you want to see what happens to Red? If he doesn't have a trade and he tries to do this, I can maybe kill him. Please don't hit me. Hit Red. Black's chilling, so he's not doing anything over there. He's still getting five. He has his cap. Yeah, nobody's lost their cap yet. If he trades, he is going to hit all this. Two... Four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Did I lose nothing on all those hits? Zero, 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 one. Oh, I got really good dice. Hell yes. Red trades for what? He gets the big trade. He makes a three here? He's going to hit my one out. Oh, I hope you taste it. Minus 12 on one of these rolls, please. Doggy Town, minus 12. Here it comes. Here it comes, magic. I said, here it comes, magic. Keep going. More. Taste it. Just one time minus eight right now, doggy. Ah, why are the dice so average? Oh, it's an 18 back on capital. I mean, he's got an 18 cap. I have a 30 cap. I also have this nine stack. Like, he is hurting. And I could also get a, a dude, a pirate, a dude. Oh, don't hit my purple. Don't, don't, don't even think. You're never getting Blackbeard's Providence. Look at the size of it. Jesus, Louises. Uh, still 5-5, five, 5-5, five, 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 seven, five. Yeah, I'm the only one getting extra troops. And I need them because I'm going to get owned. These are very, very dumb settings, by the way. Like, if you guys are like, what is the strategy to winning these settings? Um, Pretty much this is an outweigh your opponents kind of game. So I, because I don't like playing that style, my style is turned into... How do I bully Red into quitting and holding the whole right side of the board with a single point? Because that is content. And that is fun. And I'm here for fun and for content. I'm not here for winning. Winning is part of it, but I'm going to do my... And also, if I do get to hold that, that is a strategy to try to win, right? Realistically, is that the best strategy to try to win? Probably not. Is it the most fun strategy to try to win? Maybe. He did hold. He got eight troops. After all that fighting, he got to hold his plus three. Good for him. Here we go. 
What's the odds? 68%. Nobody broke them. Here we go again. I don't care if my dice are bad. It's fine. I have a 19 cap. I... No, I didn't. I didn't get a pirate. <clears throat> That's okay. Red hates me. He hates me. He hates me so much. I could have got better dice, but I'm fine with that, right? I lost a one, a two, a one, a one. That's actually not good at all. I lost five troops. But like I... So if the true random dice is screwing me, it should also have a chance of screwing him. I want black to run right through the middle and leave. Don't hit my twos. Don't help him. Yeah, hit that one. Yeah. Yeah. Like, imagine red doesn't have a trade and he, like, full sends into all this. Okay, yeah, keep running all the way. That's fine. I see a pink one here. I okay, just leave. And he's, or is he trying to take the bonus? He holds Port Royale the plus five? No way. Like, if red gets smoked on these, I can make a 26. And, like, black's got a stack here. But he, I think he fortified it out. No, he went bad. Damn it. <clears throat> but I like this six doesn't have good line on... Uh, it would if I, if... if I take red's cap, we're good. If he bots... Oh, he added... He bought it. He bought it and added troops over here. Yes, at, attack... Oh, baby town. And it's gonna guard. It's gonna guard here. So nobody can come through and take it. Only me and black can take this capital. Oh, man, I wish I had a trade. Shit, man. Oh. We did it! We bullied him right out of the game. And yes, I tell people, don't quit, stay in the game and try to win. That's what he should do. But also, if you're playing stupid settings like this, bully them out of the game. I'm going to lose my nine stack. That's so dumb. Nope, he's breaking white. Even better. I like having access over here to see what's going on. I, I, knowledge is good for me, right? He loses six, smoking a white stack. Purple and white at war is good for me. Keep in mind, black is the host. So for the person that we expect to outweigh everybody, it would be black. My goal is to add everything to this two and hit this capital and then bring one of these twos in. Right? I'm going to hit off of this two and mutiny wharf. So if he tries to come through shipwreck into sailors, right? He should go shipwreck into mutiny if he wants to hit it. But if he goes through these two twos. And if, like he would need a trade on three to even think about trying to hit it. But then he wouldn't be able to hold it, right? So at some point, he will lose his position on the right side of the board. And then it's me versus bot. And then I kill the bot at some point. Because the bot's going to take bad rolls. It, it, like, I can maybe card block it so it has to go out here with the stack. Which would be great. But nine on two. Don't you screw me. Seven cap should be good. That's a dude. That's a big trade. Black no trade? Yeah, he's going to come looking, but that's not enough. He lost nothing, of course. He does hit both twos. He should hit the one. He figured it out. And he got perfect dice on both those rolls. So I might even just... Oh my god. What the fuck was that? What in the absolute... HB7 loses four, stealing my cap. Gets perfect dice on a two, perfect dice on a one. There is no world he should have got that. Red bot, roll that capital. Roll that capital. Highlight this. Roll that capital right now. It's cleaning him out of the back. Oh my god, you suck. Wait. I can clean him out of here and steal the cap, right? I have a trade. I cannot. Why? Heart mode. Just can't be easy, bro. Like, what kind of cap roll? This is true random, dog. Oh. Oh. You know how many dice... You know, imagine how many troops I'm going to lose when I hit this four. And the bot also doesn't roll it, like... Come on, dogs. What is Black getting per turn, by the way? He's getting five, right? Yeah, he's not getting stuff from holding that. Like, he doesn't hold low, low, low mayonnaise, right? 
Low, low mayonnaise. He doesn't hold it. White's still getting eight or no? No, he got broke by purple. He's holding eight this time. So he retook and purple didn't break again. I feel like this nine dies eventually. I'm just never going to add troops to it until later in the game. I really want this single point right side of the board. It'll be sick. Like, it means I don't have to defend both caps. I can single stack in the middle, right? Something like that. Uh, we are trading. This guy's tasting it. Oh, yes. Yes. 15 cap, 19 cap with this bonus. Red's going to start hitting stuff around me, but I might be able to force red. At, like, red trades, right? If red doesn't trade, I might be able to kill it. Also, like, if black just traded for six, he might think he's, oh, I'm coming back. No, you're not. Not a chance. I hit that four stack on a capital. Oh, I lost one, baby. The dice came back to me. So I cannot complain about the dice until later. I mean, I'm negative on the dice, but, you know, that's to be expected. <laughs> I, I love the people with the conspiracies of, uh, I think SMG gives noobs better dice, and they give Grandmasters worse dice. So to try to incentivize the noobs to play more, and the Grandmasters to, like, be skilled down so the noobs have a better chance to win, and it keeps them in the game and makes them spend money. That is definitely a conspiracy. <laughs> but I definitely... Uh, I mean, I, I'm down with some conspiracy loving, you know? Okay, now Red Bot has to attack out. Thank you. Beautiful. Yeah. Actually, if I card skip, it might attack. keep adding out here and attacking out here. Like, my next goal would be... Is he trying to break white again? He's going up to try to break in one of these. White's got to, like, three-point guard this. Is he going to roll it? No. Does he leave the stack, though? Like, okay, so red has, like... I don't even know. What was this top one? Ske skeleton fingers? It had a two left over in Skeleton Finger. So, like, say two, one, or, like, two, two, two. Like, Red's basically done the two, 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 two thing that I did to him. He botted, and now his bot is doing to me what I did to his human. Pink is trading and rolling. These guys are... Here's the thing. My only opponent right now is a bot. Like, my plan is actually working. Black's dead! That's a well but Bro! The host of the game settings, sixth place. Call sign Dusty, out of here. That is right. Swept under the rug, big boy. You're gone. Woo! Host down. And uh, my biggest opponent, the red player, actually holds this whole bonus, right? Red got how many troops last turn? I screwed up letting it hold that bonus. I got eight. So I actually need to break red and do some damage to it. This 19 safe. It's true random donkey style. What do I need? A galleon. Plus two on where? On the cat, cool. Oh, I got it. I'm putting myself in a position to try to kill red. Right, if I kill red for three or four cards, ideally four cards. Lose all your troops, lose the roll. That'd be great. Lose. Roll the seven out. No. Lose this. Yeah. I'm okay. Here's my play. I think I go one, one, two, one, one, and into the corner with my trade and come back to cat. And then if the red bot doesn't trade on three, it'll take a fourth card. Then I will kill it for four cards when I'm on one card. And then I will get a trade from killing it. And that will be leaving me on this point, right? Red Cliffs. Like, the second that happens, I have a plus two, a plus three, a plus five, and two capitals. That's plus 14 on top of my territories, which will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and six, sixteen, seventeen. So I'll get five on top of plus 14. I'll get 19 a turn, just stack. Come out. Stack. That'll be uh, 15 a turn from that point. Or, sorry, 20 a turn from if I hold this, right? 18 territories would be 20 troops a turn. I just stack 20, 20, 20, 20, and then I steamroll the game. What did I just say? Did I say 30 minutes I'll have a 150 here? 
Bro, we're, uh, if these guys play their turns fast, let's be real. White's only getting five. Pink has two caps, by the way. He got Black's cap, right? He killed Black last turn, right? Is that what happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Nelly, please. Please, red bot. Please do not have a trade. Uh, golden Jib or Shallow Bayou. We'll go Shallow Bayou. I'm going to trade because I just... I want to do a bunch of damage and then also have a strong cap at the end of it. Let's do this. Lost three and a one. Please don't have a trade. If it puts everything here, this is the last spot. I thought about killing it for three right there. It doesn't have a trade. I kill it for four. It comes in and breaks my bonus. That's fine. If nobody comes looking for it for its four cards, I will get the position I want. I come off the 18, go pop, 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 fortify. Full stack here. And the trade. I'll get a trade off of them. And I've got a cannon, so I'm less likely to get a pirate trade. I'm more likely to get a 6, 8, or a 10. All I gotta do is kill these eight troops. Oh my, we're doing the thing! What a six Sunday snipes this has turned into. Oh yeah, purple starts with what? Five. Don't tell me you're quitting, bro. I don't want you to quit purple, not yet. We're just getting into the ma the mix. I want white and pink to not team up on me. I mean, good luck if I'm just boom, boom, ba boom, right? I might even leave five on each cap or something. I don't know. I mean, I shouldn't. I should probably just put the biggest stack here. But if somebody rolls a 40 into my 70 and wins, I mean, that's good for content. <laughs> Purple's going to quit. Interesting. It may start trading and stacking around my 9 and trying to take that bonus. So my 9 might be at threat. <clears throat> There's the dude trade. Cool. There it is. And it might only be pointed at my 9. So I actually probably have to move my 9 out of the way. So pink's getting 7. White's probably going to get 8 now that purple didn't break him. I think... Purple's sad at fighting the white player. But it also means white is weak. Pink also hit black's capital. Pink might be fighting white. Like, they don't even see me. They have no idea what's going on, right? They might have an idea. If white doesn't kill the red bot right now, this is going to be the sickest thing ever. Yeah, he's going to come looking for the purple cap, but he's not going to see it. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Watch this magic. Magic. There's no way red's in a corner over here, right? Red is definitely here only. Let's do this. Oh my god. I'm hitting that. And I do get a big trade. Sailor's Rest, Plunder's Isle, Dogleg Cave. Don't think any of those help me. Or uh, stacking the 21. Okay. Let's, let's do this. Oh, that's not good. He didn't have the bonus anyways, but now, uh, now I'm in his face. Let's do 219 caps or what? No, yeah, 219 caps is fine. I can't do the single point. I will be able to, but I can't yet. I could have done it and left his 12. I didn't realize that was going to open his 34. I have a big trade, though. So he can come in. He has to go through a 6, a 1, and then he's got to do a round to get all of my bonuses broken. And he will probably come in. <clears throat> this is sick. Just I, I could have thought about putting all my troops, right? 18, 18, and this 6 would have been, what, 24, 42? But if he trades and hits my 42, both of my caps are available. I'm basically dead, right? And there's not much I can do to reach around. Especially if I didn't have a trade on three. So, like, I wasn't... I'm in a winning position. And if I full stacked here with his 34, that was a, that puts me in a losing position. So, he hits the six, gets god dice, comes in and breaks me. That's fine. I trade and I can reconstitute on red cliffs without opening his 34 again. The only person that would be a threat would be white opening his 34. Purple is still botting out in the process? Or is he having connection difficulties? I'm actually really enjoying this map. Like, I've, I I swear to you, I've probably played it twice in my entire life, uh, this map. And that's a 
Yeah. I think that was maybe even one of them is in a 1v1. He might not even hit my 6. Now he's going <clears> to... <throat> yeah, he trades on 3, by the way. So 51. If I had a 42 here, he could smoke me. Okay, loses 2 on the 1. Sees my 19. Don't Doesn't hit that, I assume. Either of the 19s. Okay, he hits that. Now his game's over. He just wants me out of there, right? Now does white take his... The, now the problem is, if he feeds it to white... If white takes his cap now, like if he doesn't have another cap here, white gets eight. No, I know. And now purple came off his cap and he's going down to take it, right? Yeah, leader has three caps. Now it's white, right? Yep, man. Guess it doesn't matter where I, where I use it. Pink doesn't have a trade. Do that. Pink doesn't have a trade. If I hold this for one turn, <laughs> I just need to hold this for one turn. 29 on my 19, 25 on his 12. I got I got worse cap dice than he did. Surprise. <laughs> I, I didn't think he was going to be stupid enough to hit a capital. Hitting the capital loses the game. He saw the honeypot and he just wanted it, right? Oh! Dude, purple's got a 32 stack and wants this bonus. Okay, purple's going to be huge. I can just single stack here and let white fight purple for a while. Like, I don't think white can get through pink. I don't think pink's open to me. I, and most he can try is an 8v12. He might even be botting now. Yeah, he's going to try it too. Screw you, dude. I like... Okay, minus seven trying to do something else. Did white take his cap? No. There's a straight minus seven. The leader has two out of six caps. So white had th three? Do I... No, I don't have three. White's trading for four, starting with eight. So he gets to put 12 down. I don't know if he can make it through me unless he's got a big stack coming. Oh, yeah. Okay. Back up threes on these caps, just in case. I'm not going for the pink kill right now. <laughs> Let pink deal with it. What, what did I start with? 19, right? A couple turns of 19 and oh, don't hit my three stack donkey style. Donkey stuff. Like, what does the words even mean? Oh my god. Come on. Purple's gonna try to finish this bonus. It might even come up with a big enough stack to break white. Like, if white gets, like, less than eight, that means, uh, if white, like, if white gets five, that means purple broke him. And this is a massive purple bot with a big stack that came out. Like, it's, it's cap is available. Wait, pink gets seven. He still has two capitals. Pink has two caps. I have two caps. I mean, he might try to come through the 3, but he's not making it through the 20. He better not make it through the 28. God. Get toasted, bro. Stop. Thank you. I don't even need a card. 8, eight for white. Okay. Oh, this is such a sick stack, man. How big is white's big stack, right? Also, pink has two caps. I think the other one's at, at this point, right? So I think pink and white are cool here. So pink trades in here. White has to go through purple. So if I, as long as I don't kill Pink's capital, this cap, I think Pink is going to keep a bunch of troops here to stop White. Okay. Make a 47. Bring us back. I have a trade on three. It is uh, the cannon trade, which is the cavalry trade here with a shipwreck coast plus... Two, which is cool. Um, I'm not going to try to overextend and kill pink. I'm going to chill. I'm getting 19 troops a turn, and they're getting five. And the purple bot's going to be strong. He's getting five as well. So the purple bot's just going to be trading and smacking and being a pain in their ass. And I can just sit here and not care. And, and, and if I don't get a card here, because I'm not going to hit a purple seven, 
then that's also fine. I don't mind. I 100% don't mind stacking here and skipping for a little bit, right? 19 troops a turn, I do not need cards. Especially in true random, where taking a card can lose you four troops hitting a one stack. Card, our cards are not that important. 19 a turn, pretty important. Still getting his eight. So one cap for white. He hasn't got purple's cap in the corner down here. I could go for it. I could go for purple's cap down here to start like working my way up. But then purple bot trying to get this bonus will start stacking against the cap. I'll have to make the cap really strong. And then this will be weaker. I just want these guys to full fight each other. If white invests a lot, like if white kills purple at some point, I'll know he's incredibly weak. And then I can just full send, right? And probably kill everybody. And that should happen in a few turns if, if he full sends into like whatever. <clears throat> so we can do this. This. 67. I lost five hitting that three. The perfect example of like, I just traded for six cards for six troops. I mean, I guess I got eight for the plus two, but I just traded for six troops. And so my for my three cards, I just paid five troops to get one more card. Quite stupid. Uh, the bot got five, traded for 10. Doesn't put everything here, I hope. Started with five, still has its capital down here somewhere. And now I can trade with pink here, maybe. Let's see what pink, purple does. It's gonna hit here and leave a stack here. Well, how easy is Pink's cards gonna be then in this scenario? I think I chill. I just stack. I don't need a card. Pink gets seven. <laughs> He's getting seven to my nineteen. Like I'm just oh, in trades. Yep. <clears throat> I'm gonna fist bump. I'm not hitting your cat right now. White starts with eight. At any point, I can go looking down here, but if I get terrible dice, I could lose 20 on a 5. And we won't see if White gets this capital. He just takes a card and passes. Just going to skip. Go fast. I'm not hitting a 5 stack. I don't need a card, right? I have 106 troops. I have an 86 stack, 1 point hold on half the board. This is disgusting. So my plan of, like, bully right out of the game, it worked. It worked. Flying colors, that was a great plan. Because now we're we're like, we're, oh my god, it lost 20 V. It rolled this capital. That means pink might lose this cap. To He might be mostly stacking here. He might lose this cap to white. He gets a card now, though. Now we can trade here without letting... Uh, does he skip? And go up? He botted. Pink botted. He's done. Yeah, I don't blame you, actually. Like, your game is toast. Like, I've... He sees that I'm going to kill him. So this is great. I just basically got to kill... Aww. Nine cap. Interesting. I just have to make sure that red, uh, white doesn't get through my 86. Which will be 105 in a second. I'm going to hit this nine cap. And then think about a stack I want to leave on it. And leave the, the rest behind. Uh... I mean, I don't really need the cap. I can actually just full send on white. If I full send on white and then hold, I win. Can I actually get through here? All I need is like a 60 here. Can I full send on white? I think yes. I'll just full send on everybody. This seems okay. I feel like I'm in a strong position. We can just hold this. I mean, White's obviously going to come and trade and hit this cat back. But uh, Triple dudes! Boop, 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 boop. Oh, is, wait, is he going to actually get... If Pink comes off here, that's actually a thing I didn't think about. If Pink comes off here, he might come through this cap into me. 
So maybe I should have left this bigger. I could have left this five empty, right? Maybe leave a three, make it a 35. Ah, does he hit a five cap though? Or does he want to go in and take his cap? Everybody wants their original cap though. Oh, never mind. Pink bot, you're the best. I love you more than the rest. Oh yeah, re rhymed. Go hit your 10 cap, doggy. I just need to pop pop the caps and I win, but uh, yeah, he's uh, didn't have a trade. He's got a good old 22 stack there. A 22 cap. Yeah, good game, man. Good game, flag. Ah, good game. Fist bump. Okay, if that's the way we're going to play it. Cool. Okay. I'm not going to attack the three to uh, knock the 17 off. I want it to be like this. Uh, Pinkbot doesn't trade? I'm gonna... So my goal is I could have maybe killed White there coming through this 8 into his camp. But I'm gonna fist bump him and see if he's gonna send in Pink for me. He knows the game's over. He saw me getting 19 a turn. He, he beat Purple in this fight. Right? Pink killed Black. Pink beat Black. Uh, White kill, uh, beat Purple. Didn't kill him but got him to quit. I beat Red... So we all like won our 1v1s and then I won my next 1v1 over pink and then he's still living, right? So I'm just going to say good game. Now if he hits some pink, he's going to see my 47. He's going to hit a card in here. Interesting. <clears throat> okay. I might as well just trade. What, like a 7-7 seven, seven or something? And then the rest on this? The 47 should be fine. Actually, I meant to do like a 7-7 seven, seven here and I, I screwed up. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. That's fine. Pink, if it doesn't have a trade, shouldn't get through my nine. Nice. And it's going to roll and trade in this little pocket with white. Yeah. And uh, I'm just going to make sure to... Uh, now if white wants a card, he's got to, you know, roll one of these two stacks. Or hits a stack of pink, right? Yeah. He could hit pink now and guarantee... Like, I'm just taking a little extra precaution. Of uh, making sure that I get this pink. Elimination, right? Without, like, a true random dice are disgusting. You guys know the problem I have with them. Okay. There it is. Gives me the trade. I better get the world dom here, doggy. Uh, what are these rolls, though? He's got a really... He's got a cap that's pretty disgusting right now, so. What do I think? He doesn't get a cap run, right? No, good game. If he, yeah, there it is, well played. Yeah, he suicided the stack, right? So I wasn't gonna slam all my troops in there and let him have a cap run, right? He could have won at that stage. We weren't going to do that. We were going to do this. Closing it out. 44 minute game of maybe a little bit less of absolute beauty, man. I like, I thoroughly enjoyed that one. A fixed true random capitals game. A pretty quick one. A sick one point. A decent honey pot. A lot of fighting. We bullied a guy out. Stole the position. We had two intermediates, two beginners. Uh, the host of the lobby got six and we got first. Let's go. Man, thank you guys for joining until the end of the video. Man, I release daily videos on uh, this channel. Uh, although the days that I don't, re I actually, I have daily risk content. I haven't released a daily videos because some days I'm doing a live stream at the same time as I would normally do a video. So instead of the video, I'm doing the live stream. And uh, my best live stream games, I post to the second channel uh, within a week or two later. So if you don't, if you do miss the live stream, don't worry about it. You will catch the best games of it. Uh, on the second channel. As long as you're subscribed to the second channel, which is in the description below, Kilted Gaming, if you don't know about it. I will catch you guys in the next video.